All right, for those of you that doesn't ha- and doesn't know what business Facebook business manager is or they don't and they never had a Facebook business manager, this is the website that you want to go to. So business.facebook.com slash overview. So you need to be signed in into your Facebook profile account and then jump in here, click on create account. And then as you can see, cause I'm using incognito, I'm not signed in. You just go ahead, put in some of your details then there's going to be some pop-ups that are pretty straightforward. It asks you what is your business name. You can, uh, that's not going to be like a customer facing kind of thing. So you can put uh, whatever you want, or if you have actually a business, you can put a business name there. It also asks you what email address you want to use. So if you have a business email address, like info at your domain.com or something like that, you put that there. You make sure that you have access to that email inbox cause Facebook is going to send you a verification code that you want to put in and verify your account and once that all set up and done you will have access to your business account which you can go from business.facebook.com and your once you join in and sign in it should look like something like this so you should have your if this is closed or this is open you should always find out the business setting click on the business settings and you will see something like this uh, just give it a second to load all right uh, and here you always want to make sure that you're uh, accessing your business settings you're not accessing anything else like your personal account uh, if it's your first time you probably don't have any ad account so you go ahead and click on ad accounts and you make sure that you go ahead and cr create a new ad account so right now because i've already have an ad account it doesn't allow me to create a new one you should be actually able to create one if you don't have any click on add click on create a new ad account and just follow the steps at the end of the steps it asks you about the payment information and as you can see because i'm uh, doing a test for you there's no payment method on this ad account at the moment once that is set up, the next thing that we want to do, we want to create our pixel. So the pixel is going to be on the left hand side, click on data sources and you click on pixel. Now what is, what is pixel? So pixel is basically is a piece of JavaScript code that Facebook generates for your account and you can basically put it on any type of website that you have and Facebook starts tracking. However, it depends on what you want to track. So for example, in this scenario, because we want to track conversions, we want to put the actual Facebook pixel on our funnel that we created in the previous session. So when we put that pixel on our funnel, Facebook grabbed the information of people that are viewing our funnel, people that view our funnel and actually sign up to our funnel, and people that actually sign up and then buy a product so this, this is gonna what's gonna happen once you find some people that are actually showing interest and signing up to your funnel then it go ahead based on that pixel find other people that have similar interest and start showing your advertisement to them as well so it keeps optimizing the peep uh, based on the interest of the people who's gonna see your ad so it works actually to your benefits and the other plus side of that is once you start getting some uh, some customer and some data and feeding Facebook with this data then there are a couple of other things that we can do we call them creating custom audience or retargeting audiences so you can actually create a specific type of ad and tell Facebook okay I want to specifically retarget these people I'm sure that you pro probably have seen it where it's kind of like wherever you go some ads actually following you on different platforms like Facebook Instagram they keep following you so this is basically what the Facebook pixel does all right as you can see I already have uh, two in there but in this uh, tutorial I'm going to build one from scratch for you so you just go ahead and click on add this comes up you give it a name this is uh, speech hello YouTube tutorial uh, you don't need to give it a website you just hit continue give it a sec and we wanted to put it uh, now so set up the pixel now so I'm gonna go ahead and click on that I want to 
manually at the peak sold code to website. So we click on this. This comes up. So what we want to do, we want to click on copy the clipboard, copy the code to clipboard. So now it's copied. Uh, we want to make sure that it's turned on. So these are the things that we want to track at least. The base of the code, we don't want to put the URL in here. We click on continue. This comes up. We don't want to do this. We click on cancel and that it is. That's done. Now, as you can see, it is red and it's because first of all, it doesn't have any people associated to that. So you click on add people and you probably want to add a person that is working with you. So in this case, it's me. Turn this on and then click on sign. That's done. The other thing that you want to add is go to connected assets. As you can see, there's no assets. We want to attach an ad account to this uh, pixel. So we click on add assets and we choose our ad account and add it to this specific pixel. It is ready the only reason that it's showing red it's because there has been no activity yet all right that is how you actually setting up your pixel in the next section i'm going to show you how you can add that pixel and install it to your website or in this case funnel